Hi, this is Paolo from the NBA Academy and in this video I'm going to be showing you how to make jump up basses like the ones in the track Boomerang by Enix. So this is the original track and this is my recreation. But before you get started with the video, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos and also to support our channel while we create a lot of free content for you. If you want to access this preset and the project file, you can become a member of Preset Pass, and not only that, but you also get priority on your sound request. So, with that being said, let's get into the video. Okay, so here I have an initial dispatch, but first let me show you all the different notes and movements in terms of pitch that we're going to be doing. So for sequencing, this is really simple, F and E in this way. And now for the cool pitch bending that rises, we're going to set the range to 7 semitones, and then on those notes, we're gonna bring it up. So the shape will end up looking something like this. Cool, so now let's go back into Serum. All right, so we're gonna load a sine wave into OS leader A, but the sine wave we're gonna customize it with our own harmonics. We're gonna add the first one and the third one to kind of create kind of a square wave shape. This is just to have a more powerful sub. Nice. Let's go into OS leader B. And here, once again, we're gonna create our own shape. So let's get rid of all of these harmonics. And instead of only using one and three and so on, we're actually gonna go straight into harmonic number seven and remove everything else. And we're gonna add harmonics on the side of it, just so it has a grittier feel. And now let's take a look at this with the distortion and you'll notice the difference. As you can see, adding those harmonics on the side adds a bit of dirt into the sound. Cool. So now let's go back into the main tab. Let's add a bit of white noise and then we're gonna map an LFO into the different levels of this. So let's bring oscillator A a little bit lower like that. Let's bring the noise all the way down and then let's map LFO number two into a level of the noise and let's make a really subtle noise hit like this. Cool. Now let's bring oscillator B all the way down and let's map an LFO into that. Let's map LFO number one into a level. We're kind of getting there. Let's set this on envelope and then let's turn off the beeping functions just so we can adjust the length manually. Bring this LFO a bit lower like this. Nice, really nice. Now let's go into the FX. And here in the effects, we can experiment with different modes of distortion. That sounds amazing. Let's add hyper and dimension. Just so we have a more stereo bass. Let's also add some chorus. And let's map an LFO into the mix of this chorus. Just so it's not always there. Cool. Let's leave it as it is. Now let's add a reverb filter. Bring this down. And this is just to add an extra layer of metallic noise into it because we're going to map another four into the mix. But if you want to really use this reverb filter, I recommend you to put the mix all the way up and play with the drive. I would even go as far as using another four that's really slow, like this. I think that's a really cool effect. So let's just bring this back into what I had. <laughs> Our bass now even feels weaker in comparison, but that's okay, we're creating the sound. There you go. Now let's put this below the chorus and let's add a bit of reverb. Once again, gonna be really subtle. We're gonna bring the decay and the size all the way down. And we're gonna map an LFO into the mix of that. Then we're gonna add an EQ. 
And with the sticky, we can boost around any frequency that we want to really accentuate in the sound, like around 1K or 5K. In this case, I'm gonna leave it really subtle by bringing the Q down, the gain a bit lower, and just add a bit of highs. Then we're gonna add a compressor on multiband, add some gain, and put the release all the way up. Really nice. If you want, you can even shape your sound by boosting the lows and a bit of the mids. And also you can go back into the Oscillator tab and play with the noise level. And this is basically 80% of the sound. Now let's just jump into some post-processing. All right, so the first thing we're gonna add in post-processing is a resonator by kilohertz. This is essentially a comb filter and it's very similar to the filters in Serum. So another alternative is to use Serum FX and use something like a comb filter here, like this. So let's compare. This will be Serum FX. And now this will be kilohertz resonator. The only difference is in your taste. All of these are just different flavors of one thing. So in this case, I'm gonna stick with kilohertz resonator. And I'm gonna leave it around C2, bring the intensity a bit lower. Cool. And then we're gonna add some EQ. And here we can use something like a notch. To use it around 500 hertz, just to make the sound a bit cleaner. And then we're simply gonna add a bit of reverb. Make it really short. Then add some trash too. And on trash too, I'm just gonna boost a bit of the highs. If you notice a bit of face issues, you can play with the bands, put them higher, and also remove band number one, just so you don't affect the sub. There you go. And then to not commit the sin of adding reverb on the sub, you can just simply low cut everything like this and then add your separate stuff here. So this will be the final result. Now let's play this with some drums. Now we can go back into Serum, and here we can play with the different harmonics once again. We can boost Oscillator A. That gives us a really cool tone. We can play with the amount of different harmonics that we added into this seven harmonic. And just fine tune everything, which I think is a really fun process and it allows you to create your own sound. For example, I would make this a bit slower. I would bring the speed of this MIDI to be half of it. And then bring this phrase here. Make it its original speed. And maybe change the phrase. Let's change the speed there. Nice. Dun, 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 dun. There you go. Let's just add this here. 
Let's duplicate it here. Add one there. Add another one there. And then play with the rate. Cool. And then play with the harmonic. Maybe don't use seven, maybe use something like five. And instead of going seven, maybe we can go 12. Dope. So that is going to be it for the sound and also for this video. If you liked it, make sure you get subscribed to the channel, hit the notification bell to not miss any for future videos. And if you want to get access to this preset and the project files, you can become a member of Preset Pass. The link is in the description below. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you have a nice day and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.